recently, like this week, my husband was in need of a haircut. Um, he usually goes every six weeks or so, and it's time for him to get one. And we decided, um, because he has been going into the office, um, and he sees people that, that I was going to cut his hair. Um, that didn't go great. Um, first I used some scissors, then I used a trimmer, and next thing I know, there's more hair on the floor than there is remaining on his head because I couldn't get it even, so we kept trying. Um, and that night at dinner, uh, we prayed, Dan usually prays before we eat, and he prayed that his hair would go grow back quickly. And I thought it was kind of silly, but we just went on with it. Um, but then today I thought about it as I read the gospel. Um, Jesus appears to some of his um, followers. But the gospel of John is very specific. It says things like Jesus told them to throw the net on the right side of the boat. They caught exactly 153 fish. Um, it even tells us like what Peter was wearing. And the details may seem insignificant but they're there and as I thought about that and I thought about Dan praying for his hair to grow back quickly um, I thought um, God cares about the details all right um, scripture tells us that he knows how many hairs are on our head and for Dan that's a lot less now um, but he knows God cares about the details um, so today whatever you're going through I was um I wanted to check in on y'all and thank you for your comments and your, um, your, your, your honesty in that check-in. But um, God cares about those details. He cares about what you're going through right now and what you're facing. And he cares about um, that the fact that you're missing your friends, which is what most of you said. He, he cares um, that our, maybe, um, our families are struggling economically. Like He cares about the details of our lives. He cares about our individual struggles. Um, and, and I haven't personally lost someone, um, because of this, um, this pandemic, but it doesn't make my suffering and my struggles any less to God. And so today, tell him about the details of your life and allow him into those moments because he cares, right? Our God is a personal God who loves and cares. Um, and so today, let him in on those things. Y'all have a good weekend.